Over the past couple of weeks, have you noticed that your allergy symptoms are starting to wake up a bit as temperatures start to rise and some of the area trees are starting to bud? Well, in fact, over the past week or so, we have been seeing a steady rise in pollen levels just as those temperatures are warming up. About a month ago, we weren't even dealing with any pollen levels, but of course, as we continue through the spring, there's just going to be more and more pollen in the air. Now, the CDC estimates that over 19 million adults and over 6 million children suffer Suffer from hay fever in the United States or allergy symptoms. And in general, a mild winter means an earlier start to allergy season and also warmer days means that more pollen is going to be produced by the trees, grasses, and plants. Now, whenever it comes to the weather, there are some more favorable conditions if you are looking for some relief from those runny noses and scratchy eyes and throats. Whenever it comes to the temperature, plants grow faster and produce more pollen on warmer days. The reverse than for a cooler day, especially during a cool stretch. Whenever it comes to rain, there's only temporary relief as the rain is actually going to wash away the pollen, also weigh down any pollen that's in the air. But then eventually, those wet conditions are going to lead to even more production of pollen as the trees, plants, and grasses continue to grow. And on a windy day, that means that the dust, mold, and pollen are going to be stirred up a little bit more. So really to get a great relief from your allergy symptoms, we're looking for dry, cool, and less windy days. So now you know, for 5 News, I'm meteorologist and Jill Swed. Be sure to stay tuned. 5 News at 530 is coming up next.